Hello my dear students this is Prerna welcome back to knowledge of maths in today's video we are going to solve the sums by using properties of whole numbers from the textbook of CBSC board NCERT mathematics of grade 6 uh but before let's recall all the properties of whole numbers the first property is closer property closer property for addition says that the sum of any two whole numbers is a whole number same way closer property for multiplication says that the product of any two whole numbers is a whole number next comes commutative property commutative property for addition says that we can add any two whole numbers in any order same way commutative property for multiplication says that we can multiply any two whole numbers in any order next comes associative property associative property for addition says that the grouping of numbers will never change the result of addition same way associative property for multiplication says that the grouping of numbers will never change the result of multiplication next comes distributive property distributive property of multiplication over addition says that we can distribute the multiplier with each add and separately and then we can add the products same way distributive property of multiplication over subtraction says that we can distribute the multiplier with each number separately and then we can uh, subtract the products so next comes identity property identity property for addition is zero because a plus zero is equal to a same way identity property for multiplication is one because a into one is equal to a so uh, here we finish with all the properties now let's solve sums on page number 37 you have a box called try this in that they have given two equations to solve with the help of properties okay so um before solving this the important point to remember is to solve these kind of equations you need to recognize the combination of number which make a multiple of 10 when added okay and those combination of numbers are 19 28 37 46 5 5 okay uh, so these number need to be on the unit place to make up a multiple of 10 for example when one of the number has one on its unit place then the other number must have a nine on its unit place to make a multiple of 10 so uh, just uh, remember this point okay now let's solve the equations now here we are going to use commutative as well as associative property and you all know commutative property says that uh, we can interchange the place of number while adding and associative property says that the grouping of numbers will never change the result of addition okay so let's take first equation as i have said we have to find out uh, the combination of numbers now here as we know 7 plus 3 gives us the answer 10 so we can make the combination of these two numbers to get the answer multiple of 10 so let's interchange the place of 18 and 13 with the help of commutative property so it became 7 plus 13 plus 18 now with the help of associative property let's make a group of 7 and 13 so 7 and 13 will give you the answer as 20 and the remaining this 18 so the final answer of this equation is 38 and this is the easiest process okay so let's take the next equation that is 16 plus 12 plus 4 now again we have to find out the numbers which will give you the answer multiple of 10 so here as we know 6 plus 4 give us the answer as 10 so 16 plus 4 will gi give you the answer multiple of 10 so let's interchange the place of 12 and 4 with the help of commutative property so it became 16 plus 4 plus 12 now with the help of associative property let's make a group of 16 and 4 so 16 plus 4 is equal to 20 therefore 20 plus 12 now so the final answer of this question is 32 okay now let's take next 
And now again on page number 37 you have one more box called try this in that they have given two more equations uh, which are multiplied okay now um, now one more thing I want to tell you that we must be able to recognize the combination of number which will give us the answer multiple of 10 when we multiply them okay so that it will be easier for us to multiply the answer with the next number. Hmm. Here I am giving you some examples. See here 15, 6, 90 which is a multiple of 10. Same way 5, 8, 40 which is also a multiple of 10 and so on. So try some more examples to find out. Now uh, let's solve the questions. Here these are the two questions. Now here again we are going to use commutative property as well as associative property. Okay. So here the first equation. Now um, as we have to find out the two numbers which will give us the answer multiple of 10. Now here as we know 25 fours are 100. So let's uh, uh, take these two numbers closer with the help of commutative property. Then what it happened? 25 into 4 into 8358. So uh, as we have to make uh, as we have to make a group of these two, let's take the help of associative property. So uh, I'm putting group. Uh, I'm putting brackets. So 25 fours are 100, and next uh, multiplication sign 8358. Now here again, I want to tell you one trick. Whenever a specified number is multiplied to a number having zeros at the end, in such situations, just multiply the number to the number present before the zeros. Okay, means here we have to multiply this number with just one. Okay, and next uh, when we get the answer, at that time we have to put the zeros which we have skipped while multiplying at the end of the answer. Means now here what we have to do as we have one of the number with the zeros at the end. So let's multiply this number with 1. Then what we get 8358 into 1 is equal to 8358. Now next thing is we have to put these zeros which we have skipped while multiplying next to the answer. So let's write two zeros. So, the final answer of this question is 8,35,800. Okay. So, let's take next equation. That is 625 into 3,759 into 8. Now, again here we have to find out the combination of number which will give you the answer multiple of 10. So, as according to mathematics, when we multiply the number which is having a 5 at the unit place with even number, we will get the answer as a multiple of 10. So, here we have a number which has a 5 at the unit place and we have one uh, even number. So, we will make a group of these two numbers. First, we will interchange the place of these two numbers with the help of commutative property. So, it will become 625 into 8 into 3759. Next, we will make a group of these two numbers by putting brackets with the help of associative property. Now, let's check multiplying 625 into 8. So, here I am doing rough calculation. 8 is a 40 so 4 is on carry next comes 8 to the 16 plus 4 is 20 so 2 is on carry 6 8 is 48 48 plus 2 is 50 so we got the answer 5000 which is multiple of 10 so let's write here 5000 next into 3759 now again we got a number with the zeros at the end so, what we have to do? We have to multiply this number with just 5. So, let's multiply. 3759 multiplied by 5. 5 nines are 45. So, 4 is on carry. 5 fives are 25 plus 4 is 29. Next, 5 sevens are 35 plus 2 37. So, 3 is on carry again. 5 threes are 15 plus 3 is 18. So, we got the answer as 18,795. Now, we have to um, put these three zeros which we have skipped while multiplying. 
at the end of the answer. So final answer of this question is one crore eighty seven lakh ninety five thousand. Okay. Now let's move to the next. Now on page number thirty nine, you have one more try this box with these three equations, which we have to solve with by with the help of distributive property. Now, okay. So let's solve. Uh, here we are going to use uh, distributive property, which says that we can distribute multiplier with each number and then we can do the operation. Okay. So let's take the first equation. Here it is equation. Now, as uh, uh, as we know, distributive property says that we can split one of the number. Okay. So let's split this sixty-eight into seventy minus two. So fifteen. Into seventy minus two. Okay, so uh, and next, what we have to do? We have to multiply this multiplier with each number. Okay, and then after that, we have to subtract the product. So let's uh, multiply this number with each number. Fifteen into seventy minus fifteen into two. Now here we have got one of the number with the zeros at the end. So let's multiply fifteen seven sa as we know one hundred and five. And now we have to put the zero which is kept, okay, at the end of the answer. Next minus fifteen to the thirty we know. So let's subtract. We got the answer as one thousand twenty, okay. So let's take the next number, next equation. Sorry, that is seventeen into twenty three. As we know, we can split one of the number with the help of distributive property. So let's split this one twenty three as twenty plus three. You can split this number also, huh? Seventeen. I am splitting here twenty-three, so it became seventeen multiplied by twenty plus three. So now what we have to do? We have to multiply this multiplier with each number. So let's multiply seventeen into twenty plus seventeen into three. So here also we have got a number with the end uh, with the zeros at the end. So let's multiply seventeen to the Thirty-four, and the zero we will put at the end of the answer. So next plus seventeen three is a fifty-one. Now let's add this answer. We got the answer as three hundred and ninety-one. Okay. So let's move to the third question. That is sixty-nine into seventy-eight plus twenty-two into sixty-nine. Now here this one bit um um bit different. Uh, with these two equations, okay. So um, I am finding this with um, this is equal to this. So let's take here. See here. When we compare these two, these are both are looking same, right? So uh, when we compare this, we got the a is equal to seventy eight. Same way we got b is equal to twenty two and c is equal to sixty nine. Why c is equal to sixty nine? Because here. C is repeated and same way here sixty nine is repeated, right? So uh, as we know, this is equal to this one, right? A into C plus B into C is equal to in the bracket A plus B bracket complete into C. So let's write this equation. C M. Now let's put these values of A B C in this equation. Hmm, what we will get in the bracket seventy eight plus twenty two bracket complete into sixty nine. Now it will become easier to solve. See here, seventy-eight plus twenty-two is equal to hundred and into sixty-nine. Now, as I have so, uh, told you that when we get any number with the zeros at the end, what we have to do? We have to multiply this number with only the number present before the zeros. So sixty-nine ones are sixty-nine, and we have to put this skip zeros at the end of the answer. So the answer is six thousand nine hundred. Okay. And this is the easiest process to solve this kind of equations. Now here we end up with the today's video. We will solve the exercise on um, on this in the next video. So till then, bye everyone. If you like my teaching, then please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Bye everyone.